Hello again, and welcome to lesson number six in my new series of free guitar instruction videos. I'm trying to show you some great licks, a little, little bit of everything from all sorts of different guitar players in the classic blues style. And so far we've done lessons showing you some licks from the playing of T-Bone Walker, Eddie Taylor, Magic Sam, and I've done a couple others, Jimmy Rogers. So this will be the fifth or the sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth video. I can't keep track. It's on the on the title here. Anyway, Pee Wee Creighton is one of my favorite electric guitar players, and he had so many licks that you could learn very easily and incorporate into your playing. Some are very simple, some are more, more complex. So I'm going to start out and show you just some of the easier ones. Some of these will repeat what I've shown you in other lessons because he used the same licks as other guys like T-Bone Walker. Some of them will be runs and things that you only hear in, in his playing. First of all, starting out, some of the easier Pee Wee Creighton things. One of the, the licks that he's most famous for is this bend, hop type thing, which he plays in a lot of different keys. I'm going to try to do everything in the key of A, just to put you right in the middle of the fretboard. So a lot of his stuff was in B flat or in G, some in C, but I'm going to keep it in A and just put everything in the same key and then you can move it to wherever you want. Oh, the lick I'm talking about, let me show you. You hear this in tons of his songs. Something like that. So, what I'm doing, I've got my first finger on the fifth fret of the second string, and then my second and third fingers are on the sixth and seventh fret of the third string. So my first finger rather is on the second string, second and third fingers on the third string. Holding that note steady, and then I'm bending up with my two fingers. And you can play that as many times or as fast as you want. So that's a, an easy lick. You could throw into any solo, you can use it as a fill. Very similar to that is another lick that Pee Wee uses a lot at the end of his solos. You hear this at the end. And he's going to put his first finger on the first string, fifth fret, and then he's going to use his pinky and his ring finger and slide down all the way down to the tenth fret. And he'll get to the, the end of a solo and he'll just play that and then end the solo back into the vocal or another instrumental verse. So the sound I'm trying to get is that slide Then I wind up back here on the fifth fret. And that's another, I call them hops because it's almost like a hopping sound. Some guys play it bending. That's not quite the same sound. That's what you're you're getting there. Now another type of lick that's pretty simple that you hear on some of Pee Wee's playing is a uh, one of these. And this is one that we heard with the playing of T-Bone Walker. This is like a diminished chord shape, so we're in the key of A. It's actually like a C diminished. And what I'm doing is I've got my first two fingers on the seventh fret at the fourth and the second strings. And then my ring finger is on the, the eighth fret of the third string and my pinky's on the eighth fret of the first string. And when I pick that I'm bending up. And then I'm resolving that with a chord shape, A chord. And that chord shape is just like the bar chord but without the bar. I've got my first finger on the fifth fret, first and second strings, my second finger on the sixth fret of the third string, and my ring finger on the A note, which is at the seventh fret. Uh, the fourth string. So I'm doing this. And he does it 
does stuff like that all the time. You can play it as a fill behind the other guys playing, maybe a horn, saxophone or something, or you can play it as a solo lick yourself. <laughs> going to the four chord just using my first finger barring the top bottom top three strings at the fifth fret and to wrap it up just using my ninth chord from the F ninth to an E ninth and then back in to whatever I'm playing so those are three Real simple Pee Wee Creighton type things that you can do almost right away. Work into any solo, any, you can use them as fills, all kinds of stuff. Now I'm going to show you a couple ideas from his playing that are a little more unique to some of his songs. The first one comes from a tune called Bounce Pee Wee, which is an instrumental, one of my favorites. I started teaching the whole tune on my site, but I stopped when I got this idea of just teaching the licks. It's more practical for most people goes into a stop time. And let me play it for you in the key of A. That's the whole run. It's got a couple neat ideas in it. So the first part of it, I'm going to slide from about the fourth, fourth fret of the third string to the sixth fret. And then that lick during the stop time, you could play this with the band going too, I'm on the fifth fret of the first string. And then I'm going to kind of push up, choked off the seventh or eighth fret of the first string. That lick from the 5th fret to the 7th fret on the 2nd string, 5th fret of the 1st string, 8th fret of the 2nd string. So the whole lick so far. This next part, I'm on the 5th fret of the 2nd string, then I'm coming down with my 2nd finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd string, then back. So like this. Back to the fifth fret of the second string. So the whole thing. And then we're going to walk down the bass. Whoops. <laughs> One more time. And I'm just going from the eighth. 7th, 6th, 5th frets on the 4th string. And then I'm sliding all the way down here to the ninth fret of that string. So the whole thing. Pretty cool. Simple. And then he's playing this. This is from the plane of Charlie Christian. You hear a lot of Charlie Christian ideas in Pee Wee Creighton's playing. And there's no surprise because they were both from Texas and Charlie Christian was influential for a lot of blues guys, T-Bone Walker, B.B. King, a lot of others. So anyway, he does this bass thing. So this is over the four chord which is going to be a D ninth. So this is on the fifth fret, seventh fret of the fourth string. And then I'm taking my second and third fingers and walking them to the eighth and ninth fret of the fifth string. finger on the B note at the ninth fret of the 4th string, then I'm walking the two fingers on the 10th and 11th frets of the 5th string, walk it back up, or he does it like this, and back into the main part. So that's just kind of a cool thing you could play. You play it as a solo. 
jump over the band, or you can get a stop time, play that like he does, and then have the band come back in. That's a cool run. That's a, a Pee Wee Creighton thing. Something else that he does, which I really like, is a, a lick where he's playing in the, like the seventh, like almost a seventh shape out of the four chord. And this is an idea he must have got from Charlie Christian, because you hear Charlie do this on a few, few tunes. So on the key of A. You can do that as a, as a solo like in between some of your wilder verses. And all it is, here's my first, my one chord. This would be my four seventh, my, be my D seventh chord. And we learned this one with the Magic Sam playing. I've got my first finger on the fifth fret of the third string. I've got my ring finger on the seventh fret of the second string. I've got my second finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. Now all we do with this is take off the ring finger. So we're left with two fingers. The ring finger on the seventh fret of the second string and my first finger on the fifth fret of the third string. And then I'm just going back and forth between the second and third string. Mixing up the attack with the right hand. And then I'm getting that seventh fret of the fourth string and then I'm going with a trill on the 6th fret of the 3rd string with my 1st finger anchoring on the 5th fret. So the whole thing... Or I can trill it. Something like that. And then when I play over the 4... Going up to the 4th fret of the 4th string. And you could make that a little fancier, do something like this. And then, just sliding in to the A note, which is on the 7th fret of the 4th string. So the whole solo thing one more time, the whole run. the way he uses chords and there's one comping pattern that I like it's very simple and you could probably use this with a lot of different types of tunes real easy it's just something like this let me play it all the way through in the key of A Just taking an A bar chord, breaking it down, the simpler version on the first four string. Showed you this before, and just going from the fourth to the fifth fret. Then to the four chord, it's a D ninth. You don't know this shape, I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth fourth string, second finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. Then I'm tucking my ring finger over the top three strings of the fifth fret. So I'm just going from the fourth to the fifth with that. I'm going to do the same shape from the sixth to the seventh. That's an E ninth. Really simple idea, but I just, I really like that for some reason had a couple chances to play with some guys who play Pee Wee Creighton tunes and I get to sit in the background. That's fun. Or playing it as part of a solo. It's like a horn, a horn-like part that you can play on the guitar. Final thing I'm going to show you with Pee Wee Creighton's playing is something I just figured out, which is a run that you can play kind of over the five chord and back to the one when you're coming to the end of a, a verse or a solo thing. This is from a tune called the Huckle, Huckle Boogie. 
And let me just play the run for you. I'm going to play it in the key of... I'll play it in a A for you. So we're doing everything in A. Something like that. So what I'm doing, this is my one. I'm going to my four chord, which is my D, and I'm sliding that a double stop from the starting at the tenth fret of the third string and sliding to the eleventh fret. Then I'm ending up on the tenth fret of the second string. So that playing that over my four chord, my D shape. Going on the 12th fret of the first string to the 10th fret, to the 9th fret twice, and I'm going making a minor, almost a minor chord triad type thingy from my second finger on the 10th fret of the second string, and then my ring finger on the 11th fret of the third string. Three, back to my ninth fret of first string. Then I'm wrapping it up, up here at the seventh fret of the second string. To the fifth fret, first string. So the whole thing. And then that last run, from the fifth fret to the seventh fret on the second string. First fret of the fifth string. Sixth. I'm sorry, 8th fret to 7th fret on the 1st string. So the whole thing. Throw on your E chord 7th or something like that. So this is something you can use as you're resolving a solo. He does this as a fill lick and also as part of a solo in the tune Huckle Boogie. I just always like that because he's using that. Which is a six chord type triad. It's like the honky tonk, the honky tonk type lick. You could play it like that too if you want to rake. Something like that. So that is a, an idea that you can play down there. There's a major scale in there, the D shape major scale, and that's basically where that idea comes from, but you're still playing in the key of A and it works. And on quite a few of Pee Wee's tunes, he ventures up the neck and, and plays some of those neat little runs on the, on the high strings. So that's just one of them. Now there's lots of other Pee Wee Creighton things that I could show you. I really enjoy his playing, but those are a few that you can use a lot of different ways and maybe just to help you understand what he's doing on some of the other songs. If you have any questions, contact me. Hope you enjoy these lessons. If they're helping you, let me know and I'll keep them coming. If they're not, I'll stop and do something else or do nothing. Before I go, I'm going to shamelessly promote my group's new CD. If you enjoy the free lessons that I provide for you out of the goodness of my heart, then, and my love of this music, and my love of sharing the music with other people who like it too, you could support me by purchasing one of our CDs. It's called The Moore Brothers Conspirement, and it was released in August of this year. It's available for sale on our Facebook page, The Moore Brothers, also on any digital download sites, iTunes, Amazon.com. You can also buy the physical CD on CD Baby. It's got some neat pictures and graphics and things. It's 15 songs, nine of which are originals covering 15 different styles of traditional blues and other American music, including some rockabilly and some swing, even a little ragtime in there. I play lots of different kinds of electric and acoustic guitar, including some of the styles that I've taught lessons for. I think you'd enjoy it, and I would appreciate the support, and that would inspire me to keep providing these free lessons. Thanks. Take care.